all, welcome back. I'm super excited to share with you guys another collection video in my wardrobe series. And this one is actually about one of my favorite and my go-to pieces in my closet that I always go for, mini skirt collection. They are my absolute go-to after jeans. Um, I feel super elegant. I feel super stylish in them. They're super comfortable as well. And I love dressing them up and dressing them down for different occasions. Let's get started. This is my most favorite and my oldest pair of skirt. And it's a tool skirt, that's right, from a brand that I was pleasantly surprised with called Chicoish. I'm pretty sure you've heard of them. They kind of master in a lot of tool skirts, but this one is my absolute favorite. This is a more of a modern tiered uh, tool skirt rather than a typical flowy tool skirt. And that's why I love this. I love wearing this around holiday season, um, around Valentine's Day, and in so many other occasions. I feel like it dresses up any basic top. I can pair with t-shirts or shirts. It still looks chic and stylish. Now the, the quality of this skirt is super awesome. Um, I have not had any problem, any tears in my six years that I've worn this. The tears are kind of scattered, which is amazing because this creates a modern tear style versus a traditional tiered skirt. This is kind of a relatively newer tulle skirt. I purchased this January. Uh, this is from Halogen from Nordstrom and this is uh, Atlantic Pacific uh, collection. If you know about Blair, she is a blogger and her blog is called Atlantic Pacific. I love her style. And this is more of an ombre or you can say more of a multicolored um, tear skirt. The top is pink, it's darker, more of a purplish tune and this is fully purple. I felt like this is a great Valentine's Day um, piece and that's what I bought this for but at the same time it is really girly and really chic and I feel like this also creates a more of a modern tier style um, and that's why I love it. I feel like a black tool skirt is a must if you like tool skirt. So I bought this one. This is again from Chicwish. Um, I bought this last fall um, because I wanted to wear this around uh, holiday season and this would have been a great like nighttime outfit pairing. Um, that's why I bought this. I love the simplicity of the skirt because this is just one layer of tulle at the top and there are frills at the bottom and it's very simple, it's very modern, which makes it actually great for even work wear. I feel like because it's so simple, it can be worn with a shirt, a black shirt or a white shirt to work or even a sweater. Now, this is my last tool skirt and it's again from Chicwish. Um, I just recently got this because I really like have kind of gotten into polka dots. So it has like velvet polka dots on top of the tool and it's a very simple double layer tulle skirt. There are two layers. Um, there's a plain brown same tulle layer underneath and there is a lining underneath um, and the polka dots are on top of the first layer. I feel like this is a very simple chic, um, more of a retro roll to kind of an A-line skirt that I really loved. Um, it kind of gives you the retro vibe and I want to pair this with actually white shirts. I want to pair this with t-shirts. Um, I also would wear this in winter with black sweaters. I feel like it'll look really chic with black pumps. Now this next skirt is from BCBG Mixaria and I've had this for a couple of years now. Uh, it's called the Tissue Midis. I fell in love with kind of like the flowiness of the skirt and I was looking for a little bit of a print skirt and the prints for this is very very simple very monochromatic prints white prints rather than having multicolors and that's what I was looking for um, I bought this in the size medium um, because the skirt is more of an a-line style and I wanted more flow so I ordered it in medium and I resized or altered the waist to fit uh, and it worked pretty well. I can pair the, this with booties and it looks super chic. 
I bought this to actually create more of a monochromatic look, either with like whites or with the same green color sweaters for fall. And I feel like this looks super chic. The next skirt is a wrap midi skirt. Um, I There was a phase when I was literally searching for multiple wrap skirts. I had multiple of these styles. Um, some of them I've worn them to death and I had to get rid of them. But this one is from Vero Moda and this has lasted for some reason. Even though this is not one of the expensive wrap skirts that I bought, this definitely lasted longer maybe because it is more of a linen material so it doesn't wear as quickly or you know the threads don't come out of the fabric that quickly and that's why it kind of lasted this it has like ruffles all around its edges around here and on, on the back um, or on the bottom which creates more of an illusion of like waist style which I love because usually wrap skirts are very straight and you usually look very boxy. The pattern is the gingham pattern which I think is a very classic pattern which is not going to go out of style so I have no problem in holding on to this. Now this skirt is my most expensive skirt so far. I bought this full price because I fell in love with this instantly when I looked at it on Love Shack Fancy's website. Yes it is a boho tiered skirt um, which has floral print on it and this is probably my first skirt that I fell in love with which has floral so much of floral and colors going on in that in the skirt it is a statement piece in itself so I usually pair it with black top but now that summer is coming around I want to wear this with more of crop tops to create a bohemian look um, as well as I'll wear it with white tops to again create more of a summery vibe. Material is cotton, so which is pretty good, but at the same time, it can dull up pretty quickly. So, steaming it a little bit you know, helps uh, revive the fabric. Um, but the good part is that be because there are so many prints in it, even if it creases a little bit, it's, it doesn't show as much. So, I love that. Now, this is not a new pair guys i've had this for a, more than a year now i bought it last year around spring from free people and i love it it gives me the levi's vibe but it is way stretchier so it hugs your figure properly and it's still stretchy so it gives you the waistline i've paired it with numerous band tees um plain shirts um, and also worn it with sweaters lightweight sweaters I literally wore the skirt like almost every other day last summer when it was really hot rather than wearing jeans or shorts I picked out this denim skirt because it the skirt kind of makes it a little airy um, I'm going to be creating a lookbook for denim skirts mini skirts to be specific because I feel like they are such a versatile piece and so I want to create with other colors as well so if you guys are interested please don't forget to subscribe this is my first bias skirt that I bought last year from Express. And this was part of their Rocky Barnes collaboration and got super excited when I saw that in their website. I, I instantly, when this came into the collection, I instantly bought it. Um, the part that I really don't like about the skirt is the elastic band, um, which kind of is not stitched properly, but at the same time, you know, because it's a satin material, if you stitch it too much, the seams are gonna be visible. So I probably think that's why they didn't do it. Uh, but that is my only problem because that doesn't really completely cinch the skirt's waist to your waist. So it feels a little weird. The fit doesn't feel good. Plus it has this um, uh, kind of zipper on the side, which was, I felt like unnecessary if you already have an elastic band. Uh, but I really love the pink color. I feel like it would go well with my closet, with all of the other stuff that I have in my closet. So I kept it. The next bias skirt is not a satin one. It's this one. I think you guys have already probably seen this in one of my, one of my work from home lookbook videos. Uh, this is from a brand called Leet. Leet. 
from Nordstrom. Uh, it, this was on sale. It was super affordable, uh, around probably $40 or something. So I thought, why not give it a try to see whether I will like more of a, uh, this would be more of a crepe material um, skirt. So it's not that see-through, which is great because it's not lined. Usually my skirts are not lined. So, and it, the best part is that it also, it has a slit on the side, which kind of creates a reformation vibe without the reformation price tag, which I loved. Um, it, this has white small floral prints with reds in the in the middle, which creates a more of a spring summer vibe. I'm going to be pairing it with so many ways. Plus, because it's lightweight, I can actually also use this as a swim cover up. Skirt, you've already seen this in my bias skirt lookbook, and it's it's this Anand Bang satin bias skirt. Uh, this is one of my best purchases. Uh, really awesome bias skirt guys. Um, I bought this in a size medium and this is worth every dollar that I spent on it. This has perfect fit. The quality of the satin is amazing and I feel like because it's a black color it will be in my closet for a long time till I wear this out and it can be paired with literally anything and it looks super chic. Now it has more of a mermaid silhouette which is perfect. The plastic is, the waistband is perfectly in size. There are no side um, zips, so which makes it perfect and to put it on and slide down. And if you haven't checked out my satin bias skirt lookbook, I'll link it above in the card for you guys to check that out to see so many ways that I've styled it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up to support me and if you haven't subscribed and you like these kind of videos, please subscribe and join the tribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.